Hello everyone, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project. I'm bringing another video on the Super Power Calculator version 4. Um, this time I'm going to bring you a uh, new calculator that we've, we've introduced, a new function uh, that we've introduced for uh, doing race power planning. Um, again, uh, with version 4 of the Super Power Calculator, we have organized uh, the various uh, categories of, of functions. So if we go to race power planning, you can see there's five different calculators, five different options for calculating. And this one here is new, as you can see um, from our designation. It's a new calculator that we've added to this version four. Um, so we're going to use this one. Um, this is a calculator uh, that's different than the other ones. The, the other four all uh, use uh, the Rigel for, formula within the, the context of the calculator uh, to do the race power planning. Um, and there's other, other variables, but the Rigel formula is the basis this one here uses more the uh, monad, monad um, CP and W prime calculator and running effectiveness um, to produce race power planning. Um, the, the advantage of this particular calculator is it, I, I believe, it gives a better uh, race power planning as you go to shorter and shorter duration events. So this calculator, as you get up to maybe 40 or 50 minutes, it's, it's not much better than the Rigel uh, formulas, uh, one of the other four. Um, so, you know, you could use it, but its utility is in the shorter durations. And if you're if your race is going to be over 50 minutes, a half marathon or 10 mile race or marathon, this is this really does not have an application in those uh, race power, planning for those races. So again, the, this calculator uses your stride weight, your CP, your uh, reserve work capacity or W prime. You can use uh, FRC if you have WKO. Come back to that in a second. Um, it, you, it wants to know your race distance and then your estimated um, running effectiveness, which is similar to one of the other calculators. Um, it, it, and realize at, as you're running at higher and higher intensities, your running effectiveness is going to be a higher and higher number. Your, your running effectiveness for a 10K race, which is near near FTP or CP, um, it, it might be one number, let's say it's 0 0.96. Well, in a 5,000 meter race, it might be 0 0.97. In a 1,500 meter race, it might be 0 0.99. Uh, it, it, the running effectiveness uh, improves a bit as you, you uh, get into more Shorter races on higher relative intensities. Of course, because of air power, the, this, this effect is a little bit more uh, uh, a little bit more subdued. It's still there, um, but it's a little bit more subdued um, in the wind pod than it would be with the non-wind pod, where uh, uh, running effectiveness is higher as you go shorter, higher intensity. Um, so, again, the model uses stride weight, CP, W prime, or reserve work capacity, which is what, what we call it here in the, in the version 4 of the calculator, um, or FRC. Um, it also uses the race distance and your estimated running effectiveness. So those are the elements that you need. You sort of have to gather that information up when you're doing your racing race power planning. Um, so let me give you uh, some, uh, before I give you examples, let me just make a side comment on 
uh, WKO, etc. So this, uh, the CP and the W prime values, I think it's best if it's coming from a CP test. Um, for example, if you have an A race, which is a 5K, um, you're, you do a CP test, you know, uh, 10 days to, um, to three weeks ahead of time, and you have that data and use that data in here. Um, if you're, if all, all you have in terms of power duration curve is what's provided on power center, realize that you don't get a W prime estimate from that. Um, and so you cannot use this calculator without having that W prime or um, reserve work capacity um, estimate. If you have WKO or Golden Cheetah, they do provide that from your, your 90 day database. And um, if your model is optimized, meaning you've done some testing at short durations, medium durations, and longer durations. If your model is optimized, then you can use the FTP and FRC from uh, WK or, or WKO or the CP and W prime from Golden Cheetah in this particular calculator. So again, the, the, the CP uh, slash FTP values and the W prime values um, need to, are going to be coming from a CP test ideally or could be coming from WKO, could be coming from WKO. Um, it's not coming from power center because that's that uh, metric, uh, reserve work capacity, W prime, et cetera. Um, that is not provided. So now I will get into some examples. Um, so the first one uh, is uh, uh, a runner where, again, with the superpower calculator, as always, uh, there are required elements, which are uh, this golden color, um, uh, optional elements, and the green elements. In this case, um, um, I, they're selected. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to impact this particular calculation. Um, but we are going to enter the weight, 67 kilograms, the uh, runner's uh, FTP. Um, this actually came from WKO, and it was a really well-optimized uh, model at that point in time. So 307 watts, um, 7 kilojoules was the FRC value, which is very similar. Um, so seven kilojoules, and again, it was an optimized model in WKO, so that's why it's, it's uh, useful. Um, uh, 5,000 meters is a 5K race. And then we, we come over to the scenarios tab. We click on that and we enter uh, running effectiveness. And if, you, if you're not quite sure, you can bracket in. And you can even bracket to, um, you know, to the the thousandth here if you, if you wish um, the the ballpark estimate for this runner was going to be around uh, somewhere between um, 0 0.96 and 0 0.98 um, and so the the outputs here the the calculator estimates a target power of around 313 watts regardless of that of course the time uh, varies uh, across, uh, depending on the running effectiveness. Uh, for this runner, um, the runner at the runner's actual 5K, 5,000 meter race, resulted in a 314 watt average power and a time of 18.22. So, um, and, and the running effectiveness was 0 0.97. So you can see that 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 was pretty pretty good. It's within one percent, um, and uh, it would have been a little bit a little bit more challenging coming up with the right Rigel exponent um, if we used one of the other calculators. So again, for these these races that are much shorter than say forty to fifty minutes, uh, as you get progressively shorter than forty to fifty minutes, this calculator becomes. Uh, 
a better calculator, in my opinion, if you have a valid um, FTP or CP or and, I should say, and a valid uh, W prime uh, reserve work capacity um, FRC value. Um, all right, let me give you uh, another couple of examples just to illustrate this. This next one was a uh, runner 73 kilograms and they actually did a CP test which resulted in a 319.3 watt CP estimate and the 8.83 kilojoules, and they ran a, um, a mile race, 1,609 meters, and uh, their, their target uh, running effectiveness, uh, they did not have a wind pod, so their target effectiveness was um, a little bit higher um, than the other runner, and so I'm going to just uh, put in, uh, bracket some, some numbers here. And there you go. So this runner, um, you can see that it estimates somewhere, you know, around 345 watts is the target power. And uh, there's your estimated times, which again are, are Quite dependent on running effectiveness, your, your accuracy of your estimate there. Um, the actual for this runner for the mile, uh, he averaged 341 watts, so that's within about one percent. And um, at uh, an actual running effectiveness of 0 0.99, his time was 549, 549. So uh, again. A pretty good uh, estimation going down to 1,600 meter uh, or, or a uh, one mile race, uh, which I, I challenge you to come up with uh, as, as good of numbers using the other uh, uh, rival based uh, uh, calculators. All right, one more example. This runner is um, 63.5 kilograms um, and had a a uh, FTP from WKO, again, another well-optimized uh, model for this particular runner. Uh, the FTP was 322 watts, and the, um, the uh, FRC was 10.7. It was a uh, non-wind stride. Does, that doesn't really matter, put entering that. Uh, but this one was an 800-meter race even shorter, even shorter. Um, and so again, this, this runner has a pretty high running effectiveness, non-wind pod. So um, we're gonna throw in a bracket of, um, um, this range here, if we were to estimate, and again, you have to estimate running effectiveness fairly well. Um, so you have to use comparable efforts on compar comparable terrain um, in uh, coming up with estimates. Uh, so, you know, you might do 800 meter repeats or 400 meter repeats. Look at that workout if that was present and look at the kind of RE that is being generated in those workouts for, for going down this low. Uh, so the, uh, the, the projections range from uh, about 408 um, uh, to uh, 411 watts or 412 watts, somewhere in there. Um, I'm sorry, from 411 watts to 413 watts and uh, a time estimate of 157 to two flat. Um, so the actual for this runner was 414 watts and 158. So again, we are within 1% in terms of target power and the runner executed at 158. So again, this, 
this calculator here, the, the new one, um, I'm just going to bring it back to this. So this, if we go to race power planning, five calculators, four of them are, are primarily based on the Rigel, Rigel formula. This new one here, designated with a dot, uh, this new one is based on the Monog formula and does require that you have to have a uh, pretty valid uh, FTP or CP and a W prime or F FRC. Um, with this calculator, you can now uh, get fairly good estimates for race power for races that are shorter than uh, about 40, 50 minutes. As you get progressively shorter than 40 minutes, this calculator becomes more and more uh, um, useful. And uh, I highly recommend it in those scenarios. Um, if, you're, if your race is going to be in the um, uh, 40 to 50 minute range, this might be useful, but the, the Rigel formulas will probably give you pretty much the same number. Um, and as you get above uh, about 50 minutes or above time, time to exhaustion at FTP or CP, um, the, the uh, Rigel-based uh, formulas become the, the go-to formulas for, for races like 10-mile, 10, 10 half-marathon, marathon, etc. So hopefully uh, this is helpful in learning a new calculator that we've introduced in the Superpower Calculator version 4. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.